There's so much motivation to work in the area of breast cancer research. A big part of it is that breast cancer could be prevented. Discovery of new biomarkers that are shown to increase breast cancer risk can help us to design prevention efforts that make sense um, both to women themselves and to scientists in terms of reducing breast cancer risk. My mother had breast cancer, so it was always something that interested me. At the time that I finished my undergraduate degree, BRCA1 and BRCA2, these two breast cancer genes, had just recently been discovered. We are leading probably one of the world's best known BRCA1 and 2 research groups in the world. We're looking at genetic susceptibility factors among a large group of multi-ethnic women in Canada, and we're combining our results with those internationally from about 26 different countries. And now we also know from the research that's been funded by CBCF that if a woman does have breast cancer and has one of these BRCA1 or 2 mutations, we need to treat that breast cancer differently in order to increase her chance of surviving the disease. The objective of this project is to discover new genetic markers that could contribute to the understanding of the genetic susceptibility of breast cancer. The new CBCF Ontario funded research is addressing a critical gap between what we know about the causes of breast cancer and what we need to know we've made a lot of progress and, and I think all of the women out there that are benefiting from this research would agree. But I don't think we can stop now. I think we still have a lot to do. We're learning so much more every single day about the genetics and breast cancer. Because of advanced technology and our understanding of the genome, this discovery is happening faster and faster. So our hope is within our lifetimes to be able to see to really see the impact of the research in the prevention of breast cancer.